A boxing legend Lennox Lewis won Olympic gold before a masterclass in professional ranks and became Britain's only undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. One of the best to ever don a pair of gloves, but he's not undefeated in the boardroom. Lennox couldn't win without me as often as he does. Anyone knew as much. He knows that. I think he'd agree with that. But I could probably Do you agree with that, Lennox? Yes, I do. I wouldn't have answered it that way, Lennox. I would have said, absolutely, who the hell do you think you are? I'd never admit that. He's a good asset to the team. I'm the main asset. Lennox, you're fantastic, but you're fired. A terrible moment watching the world heavyweight champion getting knocked out by me. Uh, <laughs> Lennox, great to see you, mate. I, do, do the bruises great still... Great to see you. Do you still feel those bruises of the big old Morgan KO? No, I think... Uh... I think, I don't know what happened. I think he paid him some money. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe he went on to be president of the United States and is now, like, the most famous divisive guy on the planet? Yeah, he's uh, incredible. In fact, just before we came on air tonight, Lennox, the, uh, Elon Musk, who's just bought Twitter, said this. It was not correct to ban Donald Trump. I think that was, that was a mistake. Power bans just fundamentally undermine trust in Twitter as uh, a, a town square uh, where um, everyone can uh, voice their opinion. So that was the breaking news, Alex, that uh, Elon Musk, who's now got Twitter, of course, he's, he's bought it, he wants Trump back on Twitter. Do you think that's a good thing? Well, you know, um, I think he thinks it's a good thing, so, <laughs> you know, he's a, he's a pretty, he's pretty smart man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn to why I wanted you on the show, Lennox. I, I've had a sneaking feeling that society's gone all weak in the last couple of decades, that this kind of new mentality of celebrating victimhood, people quitting left, right and centre and being called heroes in the sporting arena, in real life, none of it feels right to me. Do, do you get that sense as well? And what do you think about it? You know, there's definitely a, uh, a turn, a switch... Uh, a difference of opinion and you know people want to do it different ways and uh, you know they're getting an opportunity to, to but do you think that society should toughen up do you think that we need to go back to perhaps what it was like when you were young when you you know you weren't allowed to be self-pitying you had to crack on yeah I, I believe that you know right now people um, even when it comes to fighting, look at when it comes to fighting, people run for weapons. They should fist fight, like fight, do it like the old times. And then as far as the boxing training nowadays, a lot of people stay at home. Go to camp, you know, isolate yourself, focus, dedicate. What do you make of Tyson Fury? I would love to have seen you guys fight both at your peak. Who would you think would have won? Oh, I refuse to answer easy questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, mate, you are talking to the only bloke who's knocked you out, apart from two other guys that you went and beat. So I'm undefeated against you. Seriously, would you, do you think you'd have beaten Tyson? Tyson Fury? Listen, Tyson Fury is a great champion. You know, he moves well, he's elusive, and he punches hard, got a great jab, great uppercut now. And uh, all he has to do is clean up the division like I did and then beat the next generation. Well, I think you're slightly ducking the question, Lewis. Come on. If it was you two <laughs> in the ring, who's going to win? At your best, at your you, peak. You, you, can't put, you can't put two cronk fighters against each other. It's, you know, that's, not, that's, that's naughty. <laughs> I also wanted to ask you, because you knocked out the other Tyson, Mike Tyson, and he yes. just today got announced will not face any charges after giving a, a passenger on a plane a slap for annoying him. What did you make of that? Do you get that kind of hassle? Uh, no, you know, I think he dealt with it wrong. Obviously, when you poke the beer, uh, you know, he's going he's gonna to react. I would have just turned around and slapped him and said... Well, that's you know. what he did, wasn't it? <laughs> that's exactly huh? what he did. You told me, when we did The no. Apprentice together, you told me that at the peak of your world heavyweight champion powers, you go into nightclubs and the biggest guy would come up to you and try it on. And I said to you, well, what would happen? And you went, dude, what do you think happened? I was the world heavyweight champion of the world. <laughs> yeah, plus, you know, mentally, mentally, I, I, I play the whole thing in my head with, of course, me winning.
Of course, of course. And one thing I would say, we play, 40, <laughs> we play 40 games of chess during The Apprentice filming, and you beat me 39 yes. times out of 40. I still remember the one I won, and but you were very good at chess. Yeah, people won't, rem won't believe that you actually counted every time we played. I did. I did, and I don't forget yes. the fact that every time you were about to checkmate me, you stood up and walked around the board rubbing your hands in glee. You were a very annoying person to play chess with. Thank you. That's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> that makes, it's always great to catch up with you, mate. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you. Stay uncensored. I love you the way you are, and I'm sorry again for uh, knocking you out, but sometimes you just meet a superior <laughs> guy in life. That's just the way it is. OK. Good to talk to you. Don't worry, I'll get you next time. Bless. <laughs> All the best, champ.